this video we are going to learn how we can clone any web page into Elementor or WordPress or any Elementor customizable design within just few clicks we need to we are going to clone this web page or website into um, this Elementor customizable design uh, within just few clicks so you need to just uh, watch my video till end and you will understand how you can clone easily easily any web page or sections into WordPress within just few clicks follow the steps first of all you need to go here sophite.io slash clone webex and here just click on go to app and here just click on sign up and you can just enter your details and sign up and click on create account this is account is very free so you don't need to pay anything after sign up you just need to go here so uh, clone webex slash softlight.io slash price so after sign up you will redirect to the this link and here you will get two websites for free and two plans for free so here i will uh, you know add a project so here uh, is already i have a project so i will click on add a project so i will say clone web page so i will just add this as a name and here is the page that i wanna clone so i just scroll down to here and i just paste this link here and create a project and now you can see they are saying install the clone uh, you know clone web extension into your browser so just click here to install so you need to add this extension into your browser so i have already added this extension into browser so if you don't have this extension you just need to click here and chrome so it will be added into the chrome the next step is go to target web page and scroll down to end and select the you know loader so here is my page and a refresh this my page and i just click here and here just select a project and in that project you can see clone web page is available here so i just scroll down to the end of this page and again i click here and select the project and click on add page so this page will be added into my project so it will be loaded into the new url you can see this is uh, in into the new URL. So I will go into WordPress website right now, and uh, here is my website. This is my WordPress dashboard. And if if I go here, and uh, sorry, here on the page, you can see if I want to clone this section or this, you can see just select the you know selector. So I just select the error or new bar. So I just select the new bar. You can see this is the navbar so here is the instruction you need to install click here to and download install the softline integration plugin so i will click here so this is the plugin that we need to install into our uh, you know dashboard of the wordpress so i will go back into the wordpress dashboard and click on plugins and click on add new and here i just click on upload this plugin and drag and drop this plugin here so i will just click on install now and activate this plugin so this offline plugin has been activated and now the next step is you can just go to flixbox container uh, you know installation is my directory so in the new uh, you know era of elementor this is already done so here i will go back into the pages and click on add new page so we are going to pay add a page and um, let's see how is it looks like so i will say clone test page okay so here is the clone test page and click on publish and here i just click on edit with elementor to make this page more empty i will click here settings and here i will say page layout to elementor canvas so here i just click on update so this page will be uh, empty so we don't need any page uh, thing on this page so that's why i just make it empty okay so keep in mind uh, you can uh, you know uh, select any any page layout so i just uh, selected the elementor canvas uh, to make it more you know uh, meaningful and learningful for you and here you can see this is an empty page so we go back into our page here so i just click here and here you can see this is uh, the near bar and here i will say 
here Elementor 3.1 or you need to select the page builder webflow bricks and you know there are three more options so here I select the Elementor and here is the tablet view it will be here so here um, dome size should be advanced or standard size so I recommend you to standard and export data click copy to your site so I just uh, make it add to your export data and if I click on export so you will see the, the data is copied to the clipboard okay so here I just right click here and cl click on paste from other website and from the laptop I just press control plus V okay so now the data will be placed here so this section will be copied you can see this section has been copied uh, with the with the, its design you can see this is the design and uh, the next section is this one so this section I just click here and click on hero and again click on export so here this section will be exported and here in the empty space I just right click and play it from other website and control plus V so this will be also pasted here so this design you can see this design with the heading button and the text everything is copied with the awesome design okay now we uh, go again on the next section so if I click here and here is the next section I just click on product layout and here I just click on export and it is copied and if I click here I right click here and paste from you know other website and control plus V and here you can see uh, now we have and uh, you know copied this uh, successfully so here uh, we have the containers this is the one container this is the second container so this one is the container so if I click here advance and margin I select 10 by 10 and 10 and 10 so uh, there will be a margin into into the into the you know containers you can see this one is the margin okay here yeah, like that I just add the margin to this one also you can see uh, this is uh, looking very awesome now in that way uh, you can easily clone uh, the web pages and the design of the page from you know other any any other uh, website or any other platform to WordPress and Elementor very easily you can see this is very customizable and editable you can see just a uh, click here and you can edit the title and if you click here you can edit the button as well as you if you click here you can easily customize it so if you click here to update and if you preview this page and let's see um, this is the preview of this page so you need to customize it a bit because uh, this is you know coming from other website but uh, this is looking pretty nice so I hope you understand uh, how you can easily clone the design from any website to uh, WordPress and Elementor very easily or very successfully thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video please subscribe and hit the like button